Hello, and welcome to the Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh's Team Time at Home. My name is Dan. I'm happy you could join us today. For today's activity, we will be creating, either painting or drawing or using markers with inspiration from the works of famous black artists. Before we get started, I want you to think about a favorite painting. This could be something you saw in school or at the museum or even on your refrigerator. Close your eyes and just really think about it. What makes it unique? Do you see the whole image or parts of it? Could you recreate it from memory like that if you had to? Keep that image in the back of your mind as we discuss our activity today. I'm glad you decided to be with us today for this activity and we'd love to know what you're interested in and would like to do in the future. Please let us know down in the comments or send us an email to teens at carnegielibrary.org. Today, we're going to look at some famous black artists and try to create an image from one of their styles. Go to a search engine and type famous black artist. And what comes up is just a quick little cross section of some famous black artists like Kara Walker, Basquiat, uh, Kahindi Wiley, Augusta Savage. So I want you to click on images and that will take you to um, a nice selection of images and just click on anything that appeals to you and take it um, where it leads you. So I'm looking for a specific artist and here she is. Now this is a piece by um, Faith Ringgold and I, I like I like her style. She is really interesting. She's very famous for being, for working in textiles and doing story quilts. And here's a bunch of her stuff, but let's see, we can actually hit see more and keep looking. You know what? I'm just going to directly search for her and see what comes up. there's a particular piece that I really love and you'll you'll know why by the end of this program and if we come down there it is this is called Tar Beach 2 and um, this is a, a story quilt so there's an entire story going on here just through the images. In addition, she has text throughout it that tells a story too. Now this, she adapted this and um, turned it into a children's book. And we're going to take a look at that towards the end of the program. But this is the piece that I, this is the piece that I want. I won't be remotely be able to do it justice, but I want to try and make something like this. So I'm going to go back to this piece, right click it, and save it, save the image. And now I'm going to open it up and I'm going to print it, and um, I'll meet you with my paints in a minute. So what I want to do is use an app called Pencil Photo Sketch, and we've talked about that before, but you can find it on the App Store. So I'm grabbing a picture of the library and I've in, imported it into the app and now you can go through all sorts of different sketch effects. I want something a little bit darker so that I can see it as I'm painting. Well, oh, that's too light. Mm, maybe, let's try this one. That's it. I think that's the one. So I'm going to save this, um, print it up, and then I'll have uh, a base that I can paint over. So let's take a look at the original image again. So that's my library. And here's the image that I'm about to paint. Let's see how I do.
So the library has other resources that could help you with painting, and one of those is Creative Book, and we've talked about that in the past. Um, but just as a refresher, um, click the link down in the description of this video. It'll take you right to it. And you're going to want to enter your library card and PIN, which I've done. And this class is 31 creative prompts from modern and contemporary artists. Now, it's a four-hour class, but don't let that deter you. You can just pop in and pop out and just maybe use this as a um, jumping off point to get a little bit of inspiration. Another thing that might be kind of cool to do is try making a couple of images inspired by a black artist, then put them in a zine that you can share with others. Just make sure that you let the reader know that um, you are using someone else's work as a starting point. So I wanted to show you this project from the Marion Goodman Gallery. Uh, and this is in New York, and it's called Zine Multiples, inspired by the artist books of Saul LeWitt. So what this is, is there was a high school class that made their own zines uh, based off of the, the printed work of this conceptual artist. And it's really great. Um, you can read more about Saul LeWitt here, but if you come to the bottom of this page, you'll actually see some of the final projects. Um, so looking and seeing a collection of photos from quarantine. Well, let's take a look at Jenny Zine. So we click on it and we can download it right here and take a look. And Windows, I like the rabbit. But Jenny's work is um, inspired by another artist. Uh, she gives them credit and made her own thing. And it's just an example of something you can do. If you've got some time, come to the site and take a look. If you like today's activity and are interested in learning more, check out these books. The first is Tar Beach by Faith Ringgold. Now this is a picture book based on the quilt that now hangs in the Guggenheim Museum that we just talked about. This is the story of a young girl named Cassie who lays on a mattress with her little brother on the rooftop of her apartment building in the summer when it's very hot. It's their own, it's their own tar beach. Follow them on an adventure that tells the story of family, struggle, love, and overcoming on the panels of the quilt. This is available to check out at the library. Thank you again for checking out Teen Time at Home. Tag us at CLP Teen Space and share what you made today. Keep an eye out for future Teen Time at Home videos. See you next time.